Hello, welcome to the Learning Center News PM. I am Caitlin Lacerra. Hello. And my name is Moo. I'm just kidding. I'm Elena Fisher. Here we are on a very cold fall day here doing the news and I'm excited to talk about Thanksgiving which is coming up very quickly. We're excited to have members of campus involved with us today. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So, we're going to ask some questions and we'll tell you what the answers are as well, okay? Um, 1876. I think maybe 1674. 19, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. 1620? Thereabouts? 1620 maybe? Which football team do you love the most? The Patriots, the Eagles, or Green Bay? Patriots. Not uh, the same, the Patriots. Well, two teams. I'd say the Jets and, of course, the Patriots. I'm from Boston, so those would be my two teams. Oh, this is easy. Definitely the Green Bay Packers. Mm, I like ice cream. Um, I like corn and I love corn. Hmm, mashed potatoes, cornbread, well, ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is my favorite. My favorite is ham. Oh, I like, you know, a nice big turkey leg. That's probably my favorite part. And stuffing. A nice homemade stuffing. Sausage, chicken liver, apples, all mixed in, onions. A nice homemade recipe. Which store first hosted the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Gimbals, in 1920. Hmm, the first store that hosted the parade. Oof. It must be a grocery store. I don't know. Thanksgiving's all about the food, you know? I don't know. Oh, the first store? Macy's. What? No, 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 that's wrong. That store doesn't even exist anymore. So obviously, you're lying. Okay, I guess I got it wrong. Who is the god of corn? Is it Zeus? God of the sea, Poseidon? Demeter. Hmm, well... I don't know, Poseidon? Ah, uh, the god of corn? I only know Zeus. <laughs> oh, the corn god. Oh, I see. That would be Demeter. Nope, only America. That's it, we're the only one. Just America. No others. No. Oh, just one. The United States of America. I think that's wrong. Well, I guess I was wrong. I think it's just one. But, you know, I wasn't sure about Canada because I thought they had Thanksgiving too. What, is, what was the first meal that 
they ate on Thanksgiving? Um, I don't know. Turkey? Corn? I have no idea. Oh, corn. Um, mashed potatoes. And turkey. <sighs> uh, well, quite a few things. All different foods. I can't remember all the vegetables, too. So many vegetables. I don't know. What was the name of the boat that the pilgrims arrived on? That would be the Mayflower. Well, I don't even know what Plymouth, Ro Plymouth Rock is, really. So, I would assume some type of boat called Plymouth coming into shore near the rocks? I have no idea. Um, was it? It was the Mayflower. Yeah, the Mayflower. That was the boat. Mayflower. Oh, man. I know this. I think... May. May. Right? We're talking about May. The flower. The May the Mayflower. What do pilgrims use to eat their Thanksgiving dinner with? Hands, stick, utensils? Um, uh, they used forks and knives, and they caught their food using a bone arrow. Oh, I use my hands. That's it. Utensils? Come on. We don't need any of that. Ah, uh, they may have used a wooden stick of some sort to eat their turkey. But, and actually, you know the way that they roasted their turkey? They had a nice big rotisserie set up over the fire, and they slowly turned it to be sure that it was cooked nice and even. The chief Indian taught me that one. I remember it clearly. Feels just like yesterday. I'm thinking they use spoons. How long did Thanksgiving last? Thanksgiving lasted for three days. You know, I'd say three days. Well, the first Thanksgiving I think was in 1620 and it lasted for a week. Or more than a week. Uh, I'm not sure. I would guess a week. Just throwing it out there. Oh, jeez. I was wrong. Well, now I know. Thanks. What was the year of the first Macy's Parade? 1924 is the answer. Well, the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Hmm. I have no idea, honestly. Not a clue. Oh gosh, I'd like to guess. I'd say 1930? I don't know. 1935? Yes. The first Macy's Thanksgiving Parade was 1935? Oh. Darn. Who are you thankful for? Family? Friends? Anyone else? I'm thankful for everyone at the Learning Center. My family. I'm thankful for my mom. And then I go to the Learning Center. I'm so happy to be here. I'm thankful for my family. for taking care of me. I'm so thankful for my family and my friends and all the support I get from those in my community.
Hello, my name is Manju. Yes, hello, I'm Bianca. And we are your news anchors. We're going to be talking about the events of November. This month, we've had a very exciting event. You may have noticed that there have been many men around campus who've grown out their beards. Well, it's to support prostate cancer. I was excited to have an interview with our secondary principal, Chris Captain. Here is Chris Captain, our secondary principal. Chris, what is November? Well, November actually stands for No Shave November. And what is the purpose of this event? Well, people do it for many different reasons. Some people are involved because they find it fun to grow a beard for a month. Others like to show and raise awareness for it. I was actually in an event last year where I did this similar event and we raised a lot of money for prostate cancer, which as we know has impacted a lot of men. So once I came here to the Learning Center, got a big group together, asked if they were interested in uh, a fundraiser for No Shave November and uh, so we can raise funds to go for prostate cancer and their research. Now, how many people are going to be involved at this event at the Learning Center? Well, we actually have a group picture of everyone barefaced on November 1st and there's 28 people in the picture. A few are missing though, so I would say probably about 30 people or so, and there's actually one student who is not in the picture, but uh, was very excited to have an opportunity to get involved in this event. So we should have just over 30. Uh, and we'll find out the total count and see how many beards we have at the end of November. Will there be any women involved? Yes, actually, there are three women involved, and they're not going to shave their legs for the month of November. So here we are halfway through November and uh, we have 15 days left to continue growing the hair. So you'll see all different faculty, you'll see faculty all across the campus with their beards as well as the one student. So we can't wait to see what everyone looks like in 30 days. And again the purpose of this is to raise awareness and money to go towards prostate research. Are you looking forward to seeing the results at the end of the month? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the end of the 30 days to see how much money we raised and see how much hair people have grown. Thank you for watching TLC TV News. That's so cool. It is. The girls volleyball team also raise awareness for breast cancer. They wore their pink jerseys for a few games. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize two players tonight for their hard work. The first one is Jessica Lambert. She's a senior here and she has improved greatly over the past year. So we wanted to acknowledge her. Thank you. Thank you. And it was Jessica's idea to have a week to um, raise awareness for breast cancer. So thank you, Jessica because of her mother, so thank you. And another student I'd like to acknowledge is Elena Fisher.
Lillian has been a great player this year, and uh, we're excited to have her on the team. Thanks. Wow, what a great idea to support and raise awareness for breast cancer. Here's Bianca. Hello, I am Michael LaPont, and I am here having an interview with Josh Vanek, our varsity soccer coach, and also Chance Morgan, our captain. So, welcome to the interview. Coach, how do you feel about coaching at this new level, the varsity team? Well, it's been a challenge, but a great experience. I've been JV coach for several years. This is my first time coaching a varsity team. And wow, it was uh, a little tough at first, but it's been a great challenge. Captain, how did you feel about becoming the captain this year as a senior? Well, when I was chosen to be the captain, it was a great honor. I am responsible to get the team to work hard try their best, and uh, we've had some success this year. Now, how, what was the result of the tournament that was held in Maine recently? Well, our opening game was against Governor Baxter School for the Deaf in Maine. It was a convincing win, and our second game uh, was against American School for the Deaf. We opened with a large lead, but they were quick to catch up. We had to correct our mistakes, try to figure out what we were doing wrong. Unfortunately, we didn't have any luck with that. We went into overtime, still tied, ended up going to a shootout and losing three to nothing, unfortunately. But I'm proud of the players. They worked hard and fought to the very end. And next year, are you willing or hopeful that you will be the soccer coach again? I would like to be, yes, absolutely. What about you, Captain? Are you planning to play soccer or basketball in college? I'm going to stick with basketball. Well, that's it. Thank you for your time, and thank you for watching the news. Again, I'm Michael LaPont. I'm also wanting to take this moment to tell you about a very unfortunate event that happened at the end of October. We were planning to join a tournament, um, the Eastern Conference, but it was canceled as a result of Hurricane Sandy. Our school here was closed and also schools in New Jersey as well. There was terrible flooding and just horrible things as a result of Hurricane Sandy. And next we have Michael Aponte again to give us the weather forecast. Yes, hello, welcome to the TLC weather forecast. My name is Michael Aponte. Here we are on Tuesday, and as everyone learns and knows, we have a very special event. It is a great day for our Thanksgiving dinner, and we have some good temperature, 51 degrees. And once we have our meal here, students afterwards will be heading home to enjoy Thanksgiving with their families. On Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, we have great weather, 53 degrees. And of course, the following day, Friday, is a day for everyone to relax and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Well, the weather looks great. Let's just hope it holds. And now to Bianca. Yes, hello. I had an interview with our head coach, John Monahan, and the two captains of the basketball team, Mackie Velez and Chance Morgan. We are really excited about the season ahead. Can't wait. Hi, Bianca here. Hello, head coach, John Monahan. I'm Chance Morgan, one of the players. And hi, I'm Matthew Velez, one of the players as well. So what is the outlook of your basketball team this year? Well, the team this year, the expectations are pretty much the same as we had last year. The only question I have 
is that does this team have the confidence? We lost three seniors last year, three very important players to our basketball team. And don't get me wrong, we still have a very talented team right now. We have to be sure that we have that confidence, though, to win our games. And I believe that we do. What are some goals you have for your team in the season ahead? Well, we'd like to have a good year and win two of our bigger tournaments this year. Yeah, and my goals as a team are that we continue to work well together. We work on communication and keeping a good attitude. And there are many championships ahead this year, actually. There are six of them. And it would be my hope that we would be able to win all six of them. So what's your prediction for the season ahead? Well, my predictions, certainly that we would have a winning season. I believe that we will. Uh, wow. It would be nice to have six championships at the end of the season. That would definitely be good. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough task. And in order to meet that goal, we have a lot of other expectations that we have to meet beforehand. But we're certainly capable of doing that. So thank you all for your time. I really appreciate it. No problem. And next, we have an interview with the girls volleyball coach, David Del Pizzo. And we also have our two captains, Ashley Kingston and Jessica Lambert. And here's the interview. Hello, this is Bianca Hoffmeister again with TLC TV News. Hello, David Del Pizzo, the girls basketball head coach. Hi, I'm Ashley Kingston. I'm a junior on the team this year and I'm one of the captains. Hi, Jessica Lambert. I am a senior captain this year. So how does the team look for the season ahead? Good. They look great. They're a hard-working team and our philosophy this year is persistence. We're going to play each and every game to the very end. Captains, what are your goals for the season ahead? Well, David mentioned it, not giving up and playing with passion and having that strong teamwork. Yeah, I have a lot of goals for the team ahead. Most importantly is to continue to show our passion for the game, to keep up the good work and not give up. We want to continue developing the strong relationship between the teammates and the coach as well. And we want to prove people wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Proving people wrong. I think a lot of people are concerned with our seniors who have left us. But that doesn't matter anymore. We have to prove ourselves each and every time we step on the court. We're not going to give up. Every game is 31 minutes. We're going to fight from that first minute to the very end. We're going to continue to do that the entire season. So what's your prediction for this year ahead, David? The prediction would be that the Learning Center Lady Ghosts will play Baylor University in the championship and ultimately come away NCAA champions. Well, I'm looking forward to the game, so thank you for your time. You got it. Well, hopefully you have a great Thanksgiving break and enjoy your time off. I am Manju. And I also hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. This is Bianca Hoffmeister. Thank you for your time and for watching the news.